Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies coming to you with 1792 Barrel Proof. Full Proof. Full Proof. Why did I call it Barrel Proof? They confuse me with all the different types of proofs. Barton Distillery, 1792. Let's test it. We're going to test it! Yeah. All right, Bruno. 1792. Full Proof. I always want to say Columbus sailed the ocean blue, but that was not. That was 1692. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? No, no, well, 17, 17, 16, no, 17, no, 20, 16 something. something. I don't know. Put it in the comments. 1692, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. I think it's definitely yeah. in the 16. This is the Barton 1792 Distillery out of Bardstown, Kentucky. Beautiful barrel. Now we've had Should the, be one of your favorites, Bart. I love it. Any town cool. named kind of after my first name, I guess. Those are the D. Bardstown. Bards. It sounds close to Bardstown. Is it Bardstown. Bards? Bard. Bardstown. A bard is someone that sings. Oh. It's a singer. This, actually, the Whiskey Advocate just pushed out. It was kind of a it blog is. post that they had where they rated the top ten bourbons i think they had in their magazine real high was too. it in the magazine uh -huh. too but i know that, that uh, the email come out where they ranked their top 10 and this was actually the number one uh, yeah what they give it like a 93 or something i did not see the score i think they did i didn't pay attention love I the like, advocate because i and then we got this from from auburn yeah auburn spirits so this is bottled at it's a little low actually for full proof but not bad 62.5 percent oh, well we've seen low. some in the fifth we've seen sure. some around 58 we've yeah. seen some 69 67 is yeah but so i would say it's still a 62. high high proof i mean anytime you're into that well that's not the proof that's the abv and make it 125 proof that's what they list so we have already tried the regular 1792 you purchased that one didn't you the it was the 1792 small batch yes yeah, now they've got a couple that, because you? there's the um sweet wheat okay which we haven't had i have not had that one um and another one we should look that up before we started we should do why our did research. you ask i don't know we should I'm do our research on the spot we're the dummies that came so, up it did it did we'll get to that That's in a good, second yeah. yeah we'll get to that in a second we had somebody ripping on a uh we were unkind to We'll label. get to it. We'll get to okay, it. Okay, we'll second. get to it. There's a teaser. <laughs> By the way, before I forget, the yep. contest is still going on. Boom, we're not going to say much. There's a watch in here. There's a glass in here. Free giveaway. You got to subscribe. And then you got to uh, go to our webpage, www.scotchsystems.com. Go to the contact us. Uh, if you want more information, go watch our free giveaway show where we did the Dalmore King Alexander. King Alexander. Um, Giveaway will be on October 1st of 2016. Yes. If you if you want really good details of what's in that box, you can watch the unboxing of the Deveron Calm from the Storm. Boom. All kinds uh, of details. So, We're giving away a beautiful, cool watch in there. Yep. So definitely go check that out. Uh, the other thing is, follow us on Twitter. Please subscribe to the show. That's part of the deal for the contest anyway, just the subscribing. Um, and I was going to plug something now, else. Well, we will, uh, our live streaming will plug okay. uh, towards the end. And Good Patreon, point. you wanted to touch on? Oh, yeah, on. Patreon. Wanna, let's do that at the end. Okay, we'll do, do that, that at now? the end. No, no, keep no. going? Yeah. Well, Velvet Elvis? That means I'm supposed to shut up. <laughs> let's just get back to the whiskey. Get we'll tie it whiskey. up at the end. Stay to the end if you want to see me talk about Patreon. Okay, now, Ooh. breaking from tradition, tradition, also, we don't have notes on right. this. Right, right. Um, we have tried it beforehand. We have tried it. We've sampled it. Right. I can tell you the nose is very strong. Love it. I do get a very strong corn alcohol mm. and the traditional bourbon notes. Well, I get brown sugar, mm -hmm. real nice brown sugar. Remember Grandpa's oatmeal? Yeah, clumpy, <laughs> yeah, Old clumpy brown clumps. sugar. And then them hard clumps of brown sugar you just throw in the oatmeal. It's like a surprise. I also get uh, oh, hold on, I had something different. Cinnamon, vanilla, like a, that, that that strong Mexican vanilla. Everybody brings back from the border. Vanilla. Vanilla. Just that strong. Well, if you look on, on the actual bottle of, uh, of Mexican vanilla, right. it's V-A-I-N-I-L. Oh, I've never seen that. Yeah, they spell it a little bit different. Okay. Well, it's Spanish. <laughs> Your wife's from Puerto Rico. Yes. Gives me credit. Now, we just That's have... delicious. We probably have half as much in here, and you got a little less than me than what yeah. we normally do for a for a, for our videos. Right. 
Cream but soda. this has one of the the nose on this is really just cut, shooting right out of this glass right into my nose. Powerful, powerful, which is what you want in a barrel proof or a full proof. Like I said, proof. I wish, well, it's just a marketing. I wish yeah. it was just barrel proof or cast strength or you see, whatever. Yeah, you see cast strength, yeah. barrel proof, You see proof, all kinds of stuff, proof. right. Full proof, full proof, well. Not fool. Yeah, fool proof. That's too close, I wouldn't have used full proof. Mm, mm. Neat, a mm. vanilla, that vanilla coating just shot through my mouth. Mm -hmm. So strong, mm. caramel, caramel. Ooh. Is it caramel or caramel? What's the correct pronunciation? Either one. I get you can say either. I when, get I wanna, when I want to be a little more fancy sound, wow. it's caramel. Yeah, an explosion of flavor. Again, I love that higher proof. That higher ABV is uh, what I like. Now, I wonder, do they put an age on here? And I mm. don't think they do. It lingers. I get a little bit of that woody oakiness in there. It just, doesn't have a long aftertaste, so it kind of just zips away on you. But boy, this, does it come in strong. Uh, strong and full of flavor, this bold yeah. bourbon boasts an incredible deep and smoky taste. Yeah. Superbly balanced with sweet vanilla and notes of caramel. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yep. I mean, it's powerful. If, uh, if you like that initial, that burst, I mean, it's like mm. a firework going off in your mouth. Wow. Yeah. That is delicious. Oh, it's great. Good mouth coating. Really, it's like it just spreads all through your cheeks, under your, under, on your, uh, up on your palate, under your tongue. Wonderful. I got to try just a drop like of water. Two drops in there. I'll probably add even another one or two, but the, we'll go in stages. Again, I'm, I'm, I want strength. I want barrel proofs. I want cask strengths. I want full proofs. For sixty-two and a half percent, though incredibly smooth yeah it is i don't know if you'd want a, a big mouthful of it but <laughs> no. just the little sips that i was taking Ooh. it's um, even still easy on the nose as yeah. strong as it is it's got a little bit of a floral scent almost some citrus notes like a zest i don't get as much of the the uh the caramel on the nose no real smoke But that corn is under there. You mm -hmm. can get the corn. That floral scent's kind of uh, intriguing. Hmm. Let's say you with the uh, with the water in there. Um. That's still. I put two drops in there. Now it's still. Um. Uh, but what's weird is well, maybe I took real small sips before, and that one was a small one. That kind of mm -hmm. almost made me cough a little bit. Uh, but still a little strong. I don't notice that much more than the notes that were there before. I get a little cracked pepper. Hmm. A little cracked pepper in there. It uh, it brings me like a a meaty kind of mouth feel. I mean, I feel like there's some heft to it. I mean, it's definitely not light on the palate. No. It's a strong, strong forward bourbon mm. um, the oakiness the caramel the cinnamon I don't get the cinnamon as much but do, you're right the the caramel the caramel it's like a it's like a caramel chew a square mm -hmm. I almost like this without the touch of water a little bit more. It's very strong. Um, I, I don't think I would bring this down too much. Like mm. it. Um, I had thought coming into this what my comparison was with the Elijah Craig mm. barrel proof. What do you think? I really think the Elijah Craig barrel proof brings just a notch more. Yeah. I mean, it would be... Uh, I was caught off guard a little bit by I didn't I didn't know how flavorful that Elijah Craig was going to be. This is definitely in that realm. Mm -hmm. um, they're yes. different. They're they've got a different power to them. This one's probably a little bit more on the I don't know. 
uh, the floral notes I get in there and the uh, the caramel are just a, a slightly smoother. I don't know. I'd have to go head to head with that Elijah. Card. I think you're hard pressed. Both of them yeah. are pretty limited. I think you're hard pressed to find either one. I would buy this. I would buy oh, yeah. it again. Yeah. Um, but I think side by side, the, the Elijah Craig Braille Proof brings a little bit more of the fullness, uh, the richness, the wood. Um, there's a lot of vanilla in this. There's a lot of the, the caramel. Hmm. I'd have to go head to head to even compare. This definitely stands on its own. Um, you know, when we were first introduced to the 1792, uh, caught me off guard. I really liked it. I mean, it, it kind of came out of nowhere for me. And, uh, and I enjoy it. Wow, that high. I'm going to give it an 89. So I like it. Mm. Um, I love these stronger barrel proofs, full proofs. Um, keep those coming. Love it. This is a winner. What's uh, the price? Was it 60? Yeah, it's um, 60 to 70 range. Okay. I believe. I think so. I'm trying to remember. I think it is. I thought it was like a 65 if I remember right. I could be wrong on that. So is it worth it? Yes. Yeah, you bet. You bet. Um, first of all, anything that's that's that high ABV, that strong barrel proof, um, it's even got a little bit of that oiliness to it. it. It still feels like it's a full strong whiskey. And I definitely think you're getting your, your money's worth here. Um, you know, they don't even waste a lot of marketing, which is one thing yeah. I like. It's just foolproof 1792, take it or leave it. We won't take it. And all of their bottlings are real simple. It's the same bottle, yep. the same labeling. Yep. Yep, um, I like that. I mean, it's just saying, here we are, try us out. If you like a strong bourbon, I think you're going to love this. It gives you, like you said, all those bourbon notes with the strong punch and it's got that almost like a delicateness wrapped around there on it. Now, speaking of, we love our commenters on YouTube, but every once in a while we get one that just catches us a little bit. Well, sorry. I was ready? just gonna say real quick before we get into that, tune in nine, uh, September 25th of 2016. Right. Um, we'll be live streaming with Bobby Childs. Mm. Uh, he's a reviewer in Louisiana. He's had a blog post, he, quite a few whiskeys. Um, he just started doing video reviews on YouTube. Uh, tune in at 10 p.m. Central Time mm -hmm. for our live stream with uh, Bobby Childs. Awesome. And we should be uh, tasting barrel bourbon. Barrel bourbon is barrel right. bourbon. So that way we should be. We should be. If anything changes, we'll be tweeting it out and right. put it on Facebook. We're, um, we're Scotch Test Dummy on Twitter. We couldn't get the full dummies in there because they have a limit on how long your name could be. Yeah. But go check that out because uh, uh, Scott and I will update that as we're getting closer in. And we had a lot of viewers saying, hey, we want a chance to go buy what you guys are drinking live so we can experience it with you. And we love that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to be doing that. Um, okay. So when we hinted at this at first, we had a comment come in on Basil Hayden's. Yes. Or Basil uh, Hayden's. Or Basil. 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 I call it Basil. Basil. But, but the Sorry. first criticism was apparently we mispronounced. And it's Basil. They, he gives us a phonetic. That was the first dig. Now, if you haven't watched this, what number episode is this? Do you know? I think it's Basil. Uh, well, I call saying? it Basil. Basil Hayden's. Basil. All right. So the first criticism was this. What, what did we film this a year and a half ago? Year and a half ago. Oh, uh, this was released. What number? September thirtieth of twenty fifteen, and okay. it's number one nineteen. One nineteen, September thirtieth of twenty fifteen. Yes. Wow. Okay. So go back and watch that. Almost a year ago. Right. And here's what you're going to see. If you don't want to go watch it, here's what you're going to see. We both, or I'll spoil it. We both love the juice in the bottle, which is really, let's be honest, what it's about. The rest is marketing. One thing I did not like, and I kind of went on maybe longer than you wished, was they have this like robe paper wrapper that goes over the top and it precludes me from gripping the bottle by the neck. And I'm a neck gripper. <laughs> I think you're exaggerating. <laughs> it bothered me. I had it, the I didn't like does, it. The paper does not get in the way and it doesn't. It got in the way and it gave you. me a bottle feel I didn't like. So I was complaining about it on the show. Yes. You then shocked me 
with a level of violence. <laughs> because the bottle also has like a UFC it's like a little metal belt. band around. It's like a band, but it looks like a uh, not a UFC. It looks like a WWE. Mm -hmm. And I was mocking the belt. Well, you ripped off the paper. I just ripped, get it out of the way. You tore it. So is that better? We'll get like, it out of yeah. the conversation. Boom. Let's just remove and, it. And you know we bring a little whimsy to the show. Yes. We're a little crazy. Nothing yes. personal. All right, so. That then leads did, almost I mean, a year later to this comment. Did you say, though, we, it was a glowing review of the whiskey? Loved it. It's it was very good. flavorful, like the whiskey. Well, I think we're calling it basil. I think it's basil. Basil, I think so. Yeah. So, so, so the comment it was comes a good, in. We gave it a good review. We like it. Bart doesn't like the paper wrapper. Just don't I like the market. Off, get it out of the way, let's, and then we'll let's just right. talk about it. It was entertaining. Experience. Now we're not going to so, name. You can go read the full comment. We won't name the commenter, but what what is just the recently comment? Comment. Yeah, a couple recent, weeks ago? Boom, we got a comment, and it says, "I can't believe you ripped off that label." He ripped it. That label represents my forefathers' tradition here in Kentucky. Okay, they. We would take burlap and drape it over used wine bottles, then tie it on using baling wire to mark it as old granddad's bourbon. All right, so pause right there. They used to take old wine bottles, clean them out, and then to make them stand out with the bourbon in it, they wrap burlap on it with baling wire. So the paper is supposed to re-harken back to burlap. Okay, all right, and yeah, he ripped it off. Now remember, we both like the juice in it. I did not mean to offend anybody by doing that. But you, uh, here, here's my first deal. Is that the whole comment? No. Nope. Okay. Hold on. All right, sorry. You're putting some more in there. All right, there's a few more I comments. I want another swaller. Yeah, take a swaller. <laughs> take a swaller. Uh, the comment continues. Do your research first if you're going to review our bourbon. Now pause on that. First of all, we are the Scotch Test Dummies. Dummies is huge. Part of what you're going to get is sometimes we might look into something. Sometimes we're off the cuff. We're dummies. For, second of all, I don't know if I've got to do an in-depth research to drink the liquid that's in the bottle. Because the review is really about what it tastes like and not so much on the depth or history or the research of said bottle. Third, we're trying to entertain. Continue, please. And again, we gave it, a, it was a good review. Oh, we love the, the juice in there. We love the juice. So go ahead. Now, what is there more? The last part of the comment says, after he says, do your research first, I'll he says, see. or ask a descendant of Basil himself. Boom. Because there's a lot of those out I'm there. I'm sorry I don't have the directory <laughs> for the descendants of whiskey distillers. Right, right. Do you have that one somewhere? I, I can Google it. My Rolodex is full. Descendants of whiskey distillers. Right. Just I to get in there. It. Now, we mean no disrespect, but as a reviewer, I don't really care to. I mean, if, if we were doing a live show and we wanted to go interview the descendant, I think that would be a great live show. I wouldn't be opposed to it. Sure. Um, I wouldn't even care if they came on the show and said, you know what? That made me a little mad when you ripped off the marketing that's on the bottle. Did, did not mean to offend. And yeah, no, that's what we were not trying to but offend. When we were I also threw that bottle away. Yes. When we Scott were Scott brings up in a return comment, which is perfect. We loved the juice in the bottle. We drank all the juice in the bottle, and when we were done, we didn't put the empty bottle in a special glass and case thing and just look at it. <laughs> He threw it away. Now, I added in there that we don't want to make the green folks mad, so we recycle the well, bottle. Yeah, we do recycle. We do right, recycle, right, actually. So. But, so this marketing bottle, when done holding the juice, gets thrown away. So if you're upset with the ripping off of the label, would you be mad if it was just discarded casually into a recycle bin? Come on, man, we bought the bottle. Even if we didn't buy the bottle, if a fan got it for us, if you sent it to us, we always will hold our opinions. If it was sent to us by the company, I might have done, I, I probably would have, no, I would have done the same thing. I would have ripped that label. No, well, you ripped the label. Hmm. What do you think? We are who I, we are. I, 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 I went down that road as far not, as I could. Did not mean to offend anybody. I offend you even on this show. <laughs> if I offend you, I'm surely offending someone Once out there. in a while. So there we go. So I liked your point. That's, when we were done, we threw that ball sorry. away. 
Yes. I'm not sorry. I thought it was funny. You shocked me. That's one of the first times I was shocked where I was like, whoa, what are you doing? You like snatched it up, ripped it off. And I was like, yeah, I can rip it. Boom. All right. I was going to wrap up with, oh, Patreon. Patreon. If you, uh, you know what? Some folks are helping us fund the show. We need all the help we can get. Every once in a while, we got to buy new lighting, um, different cameras, better audio. Um, please, if you like the show, help support us. Go to Patreon. You can do it for just a dollar, dollar an episode. I mean, that's not even a coffee. So um, if you go to Patreon, again, we're Scotch Test Dummies on Patreon. You can uh, support for as low as a dollar, as much to something like $20. Or you can make a donation as well through uh, or on scotchdustdummies.com. True. You can just go PayPal we've had some, and do it direct. We've had some fans that have bought us bottles. Yep. It's their favorite bottles, and they wanted us to review it, and boom, here you go. That is a good point. We've, we've had a guy that kept saying, hey, get this, get this, get this. And we're like, well, we're 30, 30 bottles in. That's going to be way out. And he said, what if, what if I buy the bottle and send it to you? Boom, moves up to the top. We'll get it done in a month. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to do that, get it in. By the way, I got a new shirt too. My I wife love found. this shirt. It's Bart. a sloth on a tortoise. Yep. Bart doesn't get it though. <laughs> I thought it See, meant they the, were fast. The turtle is fast for the sloth. <laughs> that's why he's riding it. So he's riding it. I'm with you. You'll so get it? Yeah, his hair is flying back. You either. do get it. You didn't earlier. Sure I did. You were like confused by it. It's two slow animals, but one's slower than the other. Instead of the tortoise and the hare, it's the sloth on a tortoise. Yes. He's, it's a fast ride for him. <laughs> yeah, the rabbit would be, the hare would be a bit too much. <laughs> I'm, you didn't think I got it. I got it. Sometimes he's not that smart. Scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.